Okay, so this is my home network uh, on Verizon Fios. And oh, there's something missing. Oh my gosh. My Verizon router. Junk. Okay, so I got rid of my Verizon router. And I'm using my Ubiquiti Edge Router Lite, which is 100 million times better than the Verizon router. How did I do it? Well, uh, I had to, <clears throat> it took me a while to figure it out, but I had to do a couple of things. Uh, I learned from another YouTube video. I'll send you the link below. Uh, but what I basically did was uh, purchase this Mocha adapter. This is the Action Tech Mocha adapter. Uh, the $65 one, I think, that I got on Amazon. And uh, so basically, what I did is I ran an Ethernet cable from my ONT on the outside of the house up to this panel here and into my ETH0 on my action, uh, my Ubiquiti router. Okay, and then this goes to my switch and this is ETH1, which goes to my security system because um, I don't want, and there, there's a firewall between them, because I, so I don't want uh, um, the Chinese people who made this thing to be able to get into my home network. So anyway, uh, and then uh, because I'm not using coax anymore to transfer the data signal, I needed this Action Tech router. So I called Verizon, and they were very helpful to switch over my ONT to... Uh, the data port, the Ethernet port, it took about two minutes. And he also released and renewed my DHCP lease on my old router. And within, like I said, two minutes, this thing was up and running again. Now you need this to put data back into the coax um, so that the TV will have on demand and guide services. So, um, yeah, that's what it is. So this just comes off of my switch and sends a data signal back into the coax to my set-top box. Okay, it was so simple that, uh, and I've been scratching my head over this uh, for over a year, and I finally got it working, and it was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be, and I've got uh, VPN and uh, firewall, and it's really awesome. So I can uh, remote desktop to my home computer, from my mobile phone, I transfer files, and uh, VNC uh, remote desktop. So I um, hope this helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask below. Thanks a lot. Bye.